Welcome to Amara Music. Today, we're going to learn how to clean and maintain a trumpet. Everything I'm using today other than paper towels comes in the trumpet care kit that you can get from Amara Music. First, let's take a look at the case. Most cases will have the brand name of the instrument on top, and if there are latches on the case, you want to make sure you're lifting them up. Make sure you're laying all of these parts of the trumpet on a soft cloth. Let's start by taking the trumpet apart. Unscrew the valve caps at the top of the valves. Most trumpets are marked which valve is one, two, and three. If you mix any of these valves up, your trumpet is not gonna play correctly. And then wipe away the old excess oil from the valves. Anytime that you're doing anything with them when they're out of your trumpet, be very careful not to scratch them. Now you're gonna to wanna to remove all of the slides. Just like the valves, the one closest to you is your first slide. Some trumpets will have a locking mechanism on the third slide that you will have to unscrew before removing. And the biggest one is the main tuning slide. Wipe all of the old grease and oil off of the slides and valves. Do this process a few times a week, you won't have to go through the longer process of bathing the trumpet as often. However, if your trumpet is very dirty, this would be the time to do that. Fill up a container, a sink, or a bathtub large enough to hold your entire trumpet with lukewarm water. Make sure it's not hot, that can do damage to the lacquer of the trumpet. You're going to want to put a towel in the bottom of whatever container you choose to fill with water though. You don't want pieces of your trumpet to scratch on the hard surface of your container or your bathtub. Make sure you don't fully submerge the valves. There are two felts on every valve, and if they get wet, they can compress or expand and mess up the alignment of your valves. The spring also needs to stay dry. Add a few drops of dish soap and let the body of the trumpet and all of the slides soak in the lukewarm soapy water for a while. Now you can use the cleaning snake that comes with the care kit to scrub out all of the slides and the ports and the valves. Some cleaning snakes have metal on the end and can scratch, so just be extra careful using the snake and don't ever push the snake all the way through to the valve casings. For the valve casings, you wanna use the larger valve casing brush. And once again, just be very gentle not to scratch the inside of this valve casing that can cause leaks in the valves of your trumpet and make it more difficult for you to play correctly. Make sure you thoroughly rinse all the soapy water off of all of the parts of your trumpet and then sit them aside on another dry towel for a while and let them dry off. Okay, it's time to re-grease the slides, re-oil the valves, and put this trumpet back together. Let's start with the slides first. Use your finger to apply some slide grease to the inner parts of the slides, and then put them on one side at a time to spread that slide grease around evenly on each post. Then replace it in the same way that you took it off. For beginners, I recommend using the slide grease even on the first and third valves. But as you progress and you need to tune individual notes with those first and third tuning valves, you may prefer to go with a little lighter grease or oil. Now screw back all the bottom caps of the valves. After wiping off the old excess oil from the valves, Make sure they're in the right order and facing the right way, then apply a few drops of valve oil on each side of the valve and replace it. You should be able to use the valve guide and when it's in the right place, you'll hear a click. Then tighten the top cap of each of the valves. Every time you're done playing your trumpet and wanting to put it away, depress the water keys and blow through the horn to get all the extra water out of there. Give it a nice wipe down with a polish cloth if you have a golden colored brass trumpet like this, then make sure you're using a lacquer polished cloth and not a silver polished cloth. Likewise, if you're using a silver trumpet, you want a silver polished cloth and not a lacquer polished cloth. You should also scrub out the mouthpiece with the mouthpiece brush several times a week with warm soapy water. When you're done rubbing the fingerprints off the trumpet with the polished cloth, replace the trumpet and all of your accessories back in the case and make sure the latches are clasped correctly. That's all for now. Have a musical day. Emerald Music, since 1921.